Hey guys, uh, Everyman Carpentry, this is Tom Greenwood here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys for a second. I've been busy all week working on a deck, had to put in some long hours, had no uh, real opportunity to work. Um, I had the time, but I was so tired at the end of it that I was scared to, to work on any of my projects. And uh, that's something I wanted to talk about. Like I encourage everybody to keep going. You know, put in the time on the on the days that you have time to work on your your projects is super important. Uh, continuous motion, but um, something that's equally as important is knowing when to stop, knowing when to quit. Um, it's been my experience that some of my most um, uh, costly mistakes happen when I'm tired, um, when I'm trying to push through, or when I say just one more cut, one more board, one more thing, one more, one more, one more. It's always in those like when I'm tired and I should stop one more is the bad stuff happens. Um, so I, I always want to encourage people to keep making progress on their on their projects. But I also want to say no one to quit. You know what I mean? Um, I was tired this week. It's been hot. Um, I was working outside in the sun drinking a gallon of water a day to stay hydrated. And I knew that if I came and worked on my project even for an hour there was a high probability that I was going to make a mistake. And um, sometimes like a one little miscut can cost you, who knows, untold hours. Uh, the prospect of me making one bad cut on a board uh, was too much given that I don't have any room for error on this one project. I've already used my extra piece of wood so all my cuts have to be right when I do them the first time. Um, so make sure that if you're tired to quit, you know what I mean, you don't want to get injured doing this. We don't want anybody to like keep your thumbs, you know. A uh, good way to lose your thumb is being tired, inattention, and cutting yourself, and then you have a then you have a problem. Good way to uh, screw up a very expensive piece of stock is to be tired, but try and force your way through because you're getting in a hurry. Um, I make uh, most of my mistakes, uh, most of my errors in my work happen when I'm getting in a hurry, uh, when I'm not well rested, when I'm feeling tired or out of sorts, and what I really need to do is sit down and take five. Or when it comes to my projects here in the shop, I don't want to lose uh, any progress that I've made on them. So it was better to lose those few hours of work that I might could have squeezed in uh, instead to set back and say, no, wait till you're not exhausted. Come back to it with a fresh mind. Get set up. Work with the time you have and get done what you can while you're feeling okay. Now, I can't use that as an excuse to never work on my stuff because I'm tired at the end of the day. But to to um, make a mistake on one cut because I was busy working all day, 10 hour a day in the sun is not something. So I would say um, take the time. If you're exhausted, don't work. Take regular breaks. You know what I mean? Highly recommend take regular breaks. I take breaks at work. Take a break. Sit down. Look at what you're doing. Make sure you're being safe. Go through your checklist of things. Am I safe? Is my environment safe? Is it clean? Am I in a hurry? Because that's where bad stuff happens for me. In a hurry, bad stuff happens. A lack of attention to detail is usually the, the um, thing that gets me injured. So um, I know I'm going over and over this, but I just want you guys to know that like I am thinking about making content. content. Uh, it's on my mind while I'm at work. I do want to be in here doing stuff so I can demonstrate to you guys. But um, a better demonstration is... Uh, safety. Safety is way more important and bad stuff happens when I'm in a hurry. Bad stuff happens when I'm tired. Bad stuff happens when I can't give the attention to detail. So be safe. Take your time. Know if you're tired. Stop, relax, come back to it later. Um, it's always more important to not be injured than it is to get one more cut. Um, it's just uh, my experience. Um, Hope that you guys are getting some value out of these videos that I'm putting up. Let me know if they are making sense to you or if you want to hear about something that I haven't shown. Um, I hope you guys like it and more stuff to come. I'll talk to you later. Bye.